your car guy here. 2008 Honda Civic. This vehicle has been experiencing losing coolant, no real visible signs of where it's been losing it at. Uh, we had inspected, gone over all the hoses. We checked the water pump. We checked everything we could for signs of a leak. Now, there were no signs that we were noticing, no puddles in the driveway, um, things like that in order to try to find this leak. But I'm gonna show you what we did find. So as we're investigating this, and it was a slow leak, it would take uh, several weeks to get down far enough that we would start noticing issues. And since we weren't seeing a leak, that was a problem. So start inspecting. One of the things we did is uh, filled the radiator, put the cap on and noticed right away, I was seeing it fill the recovery tank right here. So take off the radiator cap and I'm thinking, hey, I probably am not holding good pressure in my radiator cap because I shouldn't see it pushing any coolant until the engine is warmed up and we're developing enough pressure to get above the pressure of this cap, which of course, that's a metric 1.1 bar around 15, 16 PSI cap. So looking at it, I say, okay, maybe it's just a bad cap. And that very well could be, we would see some evidence that this cap's not in the greatest shape. It's probably the factory original cap. But looking a little further, and we see right in here some erosion along this edge. It's not smooth. You can see this little piece sticking up. That's a what's supposed to be a ring that goes all the way around inside this filler neck and gives the rubber something to seat to in order to provide a nice seal here. And here's what happens. Your cooling system, when it's under pressure, is more thermally efficient, meaning at 15 PSI, it can exchange heat better than it can at zero PSI, which is essentially what we're having happen here because we can't hold a seal here to hold pressure. And an evidence of that would be when you remove the cap and it's a bit warm, of course, you're gonna wanna do this with a rag, uh, holding it over here to make sure you're not gonna burn yourself we weren't getting any pressure release from the cap. So that's a sign that you're not holding pressure. Now that could be a leak anywhere in the system, but if you're not holding pressure, generally you're gonna see that leak very quickly. So looking at this, we're not getting a good seal, therefore we're not holding any pressure. Here's the good news. An OEM filler neck, because this is actually not a piece of the radiator, there's a hose underneath here that it connects to, and then it screws in with two screws underneath this shield. Uh, can be bought for about $24 with shipping. That is an OEM Honda part. It's gonna come with a new radiator cap as well. Uh, we went ahead and ordered that, and I've also ordered a new bottle because I, I think the bottle may have a leak in it for the recovery tank. This is a uh, $9, $10 part with free shipping on Amazon. So very simple. I'm gonna be doing another video when those arrive to show how to replace those pieces but we've discovered where our coolant is going to because what's happening is it builds pressure. It simply pushes right past the seal on the cap, right through this line that goes to our recovery bottle, fills up the bottle, and then it leaks it out as it continues to push. And this will happen while you're driving, and this is why you're not gonna notice some of these leaks. It's gonna leak out in an area that's not conspicuous. It's gonna happen while you're driving, and so you're losing coolant and run the risk of overheating. Now, we were lucky in this case that with the overheating, uh, you can look at one of my previous videos. We did a pressure test and we did a compression test, made sure we didn't have a blown head gasket, we didn't do any damage to the engine, and the engine's okay. So if you're losing some coolant, don't know where it's going, inspect your fill neck. And this is just erosion from time. Uh, this plastic becomes brittle, little pieces break off. And so it's a cheap, easy fix. This isn't going to be difficult to change. It's not expensive. Both parts were into them $37 with shipping on Amazon. Uh, of course, I have a Prime account, so that's going to be two-day shipping. Um, you know, it, it, it ends up being worth it. I order a lot of things off of Amazon. But if you're looking for where your coolant's going, don't forget to look at the little things. Make sure you're getting a good seal here. This is your car guy. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Please subscribe to the channel and help us grow.